Hi, I'm Idadiem Sokorie. In this training, we are going to learn how to build three-phase automatic changeover. So let's start. So we will be making use of this uh, 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 diagram. You see that we are using two contactors. This is contactor one, this is contactor two, and we are using uh, two supplies. This is a uh, supply one for utility, supply two for generator, and this is the load you know, to your house. Then we are using uh, pin relay. This is a uh, pin relay. Now in this pin relay, you see that. Uh, 2 and 10 are in, 6 and 7 are normally open and 11 and 8 are normally uh, closed. When you look at it, you see that this is the coil of this uh, contactor 2 and this is the coil of this contactor 1. So let's see the components. So looking, at, so looking at the components now, you see that we are using two contactors, contactor 1, contactor 2, that's for generator and for utility, and this is the pin relay, okay? And we are using this uh, uh, breaker, this uh, breaker for utility, and this is the breaker for uh, the generator supply. So this is the in and this is the out that will be going to the contactor, and we are using this, uh, uh, this connectors and get the output. So let's start the connection. So we'll be using this connector to get our output, okay? Our output supply to the house come from this connector. So let's start. So looking at the uh, utility supply, we are going to, according to the diagram, you see that uh, from the diagram, red, yellow, blue goes to L1, L2, L3, and the neutral goes to number 13 of the contactor one. So this is the contactor one. So now, and we are going to use this breaker for the input to this contactor one. So we connect this red, yellow, blue to this breaker here. This is red, this is yellow, and this is blue here. And we connect our neutral wire to this place. All right. So this is the input supply for the utility. So let's go and feed it. Let's go ahead and feed it to the contactor. Alright, so this is the red, yellow, blue, and um, neutral of uh, the output of this breaker. So we are going to feed it to L1, L2, L3, and 13 as indicated from the, in the diagram. So we are going to feed this L1 to terminal number A, uh, this one, red to terminal number L1, then yellow to terminal number L2, then blue to terminal number L3, then black to terminal number 13 of the contactor. From the diagram, you see that the generator supply goes to L1, L2, L3, and the number 13 of uh, contactor 2. Okay, so let's connect it as we connected the utility. So we are going to connect this uh, generator supply to L1, L2, L3, and number 13 of this contactor 2, as indicated uh, in the diagram. So uh, yellow, red goes to L1, yellow goes to L2, blue goes to L3, and the neutral, which is the black, goes to terminal number 13 of the contactor. All right, so looking at the diagram again, all right, looking at the diagram, you see that uh, the supply to your load goes to T1, T2, T3 of uh, this contactor 1, and the, the, contact, uh, the 14 of this contactor 1, which is the neutral, goes to your supply of the house. Okay, looking at it, you see that T1 of contactor 1 connects to T1 of contactor 2, T2 of contactor 1 connects to T2 of contactor 2, T3 of contactor 1 connects to T3 of contactor 2, and terminal number 14 of contactor 1 connects to terminal number 14 of contactor 2. So let's go ahead and connect. So looking at it, you see that T1 of this contactor 2 connects to T1 of contactor 1, which is this. Okay, so T2 of this contactor 2, which is the yellow, goes to T2 of contactor 1, which is this. Alright, so T3 of this contactor 2, which is this uh, blue, goes to T3 of contactor one which is this then the neutral that's the terminal number 14 of this contactor two goes to terminal 14 of this contactor one now looking at the diagram again you see that the load to your house the wire that goes to your house connects to t1 t2 t3 and 14 of this contactor uh, one so let's connect it so we connect the red to this t1 of this contactor one that is going to your house and we connect the yellow to T2 of this contactor 1 that will be going to your house and we connect T3 of this contactor 1 with blue wire that will be going to your house and we connect the terminal number 14 with black wire which is the neutral that will be going to your house okay and we are going to terminate this wire to this connector all right so we are going to terminate this wire to this connector because the output of this connector will be the one that is going to your house 
So you see how we connected it to the uh, to the connector. Now the output here will be the one going to your house. So for it, let's just go to the diagram and see how we could connect this pin relay. So looking at this pin relay, you see that this is a pin relay here. And uh, what we do now is we remove it from the base. So we are going to the terminals here, we are going to connect it. And looking at the diagram, you see that terminal number L3 uh, of this contactor one goes to terminal number L, uh, number two of the pin relay. Let's connect it. So this terminal number L3 of this contactor one here connects to terminal number two of the pin relay, which is this. This is the terminal number two of this pin relay. And looking at the diagram again, you see that terminal number two of the pin relay connect to terminal number six of the pin relay. So we are connecting this terminal number two of this pin relay here. All right, so we connect this to terminal number six of the pin relay, which is this. All right, so looking at the diagram again, you see that terminal number 13 of the contactor connect to terminal number 10 of the pin relay. The same terminal number 13 connects to terminal number A2 of the contactor. So let's connect. So we are connecting two wire to this terminal number 13 of the contactor one. So one of the wires go to terminal number 11, sorry, terminal number 10 of the pin relay, which is this. So this is terminal number 10 of the pin relay. Okay, so now we are connected to 10 and the another wire goes to terminal number A2 of the contactor 1 as indicated in the diagram. So this is the terminal number A2 of this contactor 1 here. Yeah. Okay, this is terminal number A2 of this contactor. So from the diagram, you see that terminal number 7 connects to terminal number A1 of the uh, contactor one coil so we are connecting this terminal number seven of the pin relay this is terminal number seven of the pin relay all right so terminal number seven of the pin relay goes to terminal number a1 of the contactor one this is the terminal number a1 of this contactor one here all right okay so looking at the diagram you see that terminal number l3 of this contactor two connects to terminal number 11 of the pin relay so this is the terminal number l3 of this contactor two here Okay, and it connects to terminal number 11 of the pin relay, which is this. Sorry, so we connect, let's connect, we connect this terminal number L3 here. Okay, this terminal number L3 of this contactor 2. Okay, L3 of contactor 2, we connect it to terminal number 11 of the pin relay. So this is the terminal number 11 of this pin relay. Okay, so looking at the diagram again, you see that terminal number 8 of this pin relay connects to terminal number A1 of contactor 2. So let's connect it. So this is terminal number 8 of the pin relay and it connects to terminal number A1 of this contactor 1, which is this. This is the terminal number A1 of this contactor 1 here. Alright. So looking at it again, you see that terminal number L3 and terminal number 13 of this contactor 2 connects to terminal number A2 of this contactor 2. So let's connect it. So this terminal number 13 of this contactor 2 goes to terminal number A2 of this contactor 2 coil. So this is the terminal number A2 of this contactor 2 coil, okay? Okay, so now so looking at the diagram, you see that we connected this L3 of this contactor 1 to terminal number 2 of the pin relay, just like this, this uh, terminal number L3 of this contactor 1 to terminal number 2 of the pin relay. Then looking at it again, you see that we connected terminal number 13 to 10 of the pin relay. Now this is terminal number 10, 13, that we connect to terminal number 10 of the pin relay, which is this neutral. Then looking at it again, you see that we connected terminal number L3 of this uh, uh, generator supply to, LO, to terminal number 11 of the pin relay. Now this is the L3 terminal, we connected to terminal number 11 of the pin relay. We connect 8 of the pin relay to terminal number A1 of the uh, contactor 2 and we connected this 8 to terminal number uh, A1 of the contactor 2. Alright, so we are going to put back this pin relay as it is. Now what is remaining is for us to test. Since we don't have three phase supply here, what I will do is to uh, join this three phase, that is to loop this three phase. 
So I'm going to join these three uh, red, yellow, blue together and uh, supply it with life and neutral in order to test with single phase. Please, if it's the three phase supply that you are supplying, supply L, uh, the red, yellow, blue from the supply, okay, from the supply source and do the same to the generator, red, yellow, blue from the supply source. But because we have a single phase here, I will like to test with single phase, which means that I'm going to loop these three together in order to supply it with a... Uh, And I'm going to supply this one to neutral. Okay, so I'm going to use this for utility supply. And I'm going to use this one as a generator supply as I'm going to join this tray together like this. And I'm going to supply it with this one as well. Okay, so I'm going to supply this with life and uh, neutral in order to test with this supply as well. Okay. So we sort of tape it like this and uh, we, because we are using this for our supply uh, load to the house, we are using this to represent the load to the house, we are going to supply this one to this uh, connector, we are going to supply one to neutral and the other one to any of the three faces in order to test it. Alright, so we are using this as the load, so let's go ahead and uh, do the testing. So we have arranged the supply and we are using this as the normal input supply. This one is generator supply and this one is utility supply, you know, from the two breakers, you know, looking at it, you see that this one comes from utility, this one comes from generator. So we are going to test now. First of all, when you are using your generator, you see that when generator is on, okay, you see that there will be supply to your building. Now when the generator is on, there shouldn't be any supply to the uh, utility. And when utility brings their light, you see that it will take over the supply of the house, just like this. You see that even if you remove this one, nothing happens to the load, okay? Because it's still showing it have automatically transferred from the generator to the utility, all right? I will do it again. When you are using generator in your house and utility brings light, it will transfer immediately. You won't even notice it just like this and this is how it is, all right? Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I still remember my humble self and Gina James Okori. Thank you for watching and thank you. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.